Could I now please call upon our next speaker, Mr. Peter Tadros from the Australian Coptic Movement Association, who will now address the audience. Thank you, Eudora. Your Grace, members of parliament, federal and state parliament, and our um, local councillors, um, all the heads of the Assyrian community, especially Mr. Homer Shaheen of the Assyrian Universal Alliance and the 17 members of the Interim Council. Um, I'm just going to give just a brief update on the response from the Coptic community so far today to this emergency in Iraq. Um, I'm going to start off in Egypt first. Two days ago, um, His Holiness Pope Tawadros, uh, the Coptic Pope, met with President Sisi and the purpose of that meeting was actually to discuss the issues of the Coptic Christians um, in Egypt. As you may be aware, last year we had, we had our houses marked with an X instead of the N, and we had hundreds of houses destroyed and churches destroyed, and the rebuilding efforts has been a bit slow. So the purpose of the meeting was to discuss what's going on in Egypt. However, um, Pope Tawadros raised the issue of Iraq with President Sisi and actually asked him to do whatever he can do to intervene to save the Christians of Mosul in particular. Uh, further to that, he has dedicated, um, he has asked all 20 to 30 million Coptic Orthodox Christians around the world to dedicate St. Mary's Fast, which is happening now, um, for the people of Iraq, uh, in particular the Christians of Iraq and the Christians of Syria and for our brothers and sisters who are suffering in Palestine. Uh, locally, um, we have one of our Coptic priests who recently was elected General Secretary for the New South Wales Ecumenical Council in New South Wales. Um, his name is Father Shnuda Mansour. He arranged for $30,000 of aid from um, the New South Wales Ecumenical Council to be delivered to Iraq's Christians. The, and from, from the community side, the Australian Coptic Movement Association, just via our online platform, has managed to raise $11,000 so far to date. And we continue to receive inquiries about the situation in Iraq from all over Australia, actually from Queensland, Tasmania, even in South Australia. We, we actually organised a protest in South Australia because there was no Iraqi community there and our people there wanted to do something and they stood outside the South Australian Parliament um, with the um, ensign. Um, we, we, we also had... <laughs> Um, we've also sent uh, letters to the Honourable Julie Bishop and to the Honourable Scott Morrison. They're available on our website, uh, www.auscma.com. Um, and we will, uh, we will continue to advocate on your behalf. We know how you feel. Um, we came close to having a genocide last year. Uh, we still have problems in Egypt. However, what's happening in Iraq is catastrophic. And we've all been affected by it. Um, I'm seeing it on my social media, on my Facebook page. I'm seeing people who own businesses everywhere from Rockdale to Blacktown and all over the place changing their end or having end outside their doctor's surgery and lawyer's office. It's really, it's really, this is filtering through. It's not just about Fairfield anymore. It's filtering through all over Australia. Um, and we need to keep up the pressure and, cont and, and we must act ASAP because these ISIS terrorists have created a new threshold of abuse and barbarism. This is, it's just really unbelievable. Um, you know, and it's not just the Christians. The Christians are suffering the most. They are the most vulnerable. But we've seen this happening for many years now of uh, troops in Syria and Iraq being lined up and butchered and no one's blinking an eye. So if you allow these type of abuse to happen in one place of a country, it'll come back and bite you. And if we don't stop it, it, it will come to Australia. We are not immune. We have people willing, willing and able. 
we must act. We must act seriously. And I know the Assyrian community got some amazing friends here from all levels of parliament. There must be a serious effort here. I personally believe that we have been a bit slow in responding. But now that we have everyone's attention, it's really, it's really time to act. And I'm, I'm really concerned that the people who are fleeing Mosul um, and other parts of Iraq will never return. And I am concerned that we may be seeing the end of Christianity in Iraq if we don't act immediately. Thank you for having me.